Yeah, well, I think it is something to hang your head on too. And you mentioned brick and mortar, and I want to talk about that first before we get into the topic again, because I know there's been a theme in the industry, not even just travel, but in a lot of different industries about sort of the death of the storefront or the brick and mortar because of COVID. Um, but you mentioned the other day that having a brick and mortar location has really allowed you and your locations to be a part of the community. Uh, can you talk about that for a little bit? What what kind of impact does it have being able to have a storefront and be able to serve the people who are who are able to see see you in the community? You know, it's kind of interesting. We are we're blessed right off the bat with our location. I mean, we're right between Milwaukee and Chicago. We have three major international airports within sixty miles of us. So our location allows us, I would say, the luxury of having a storefront because there's not really any other retail ent- uh, agencies around us. Um, so it's kind of important and having been part of the fabric of the community here in Kenosha for the 90 years, it's, it's, when I started in the travel industry in the early in like 1982, 83, um, a travel agency was truly a social setting. People would come in. I mean, they were only really buying airline tickets and slowly moving into the cruise and tour business, but it was a social entity. People would come in, they'd talk, they'd exchange ideas. Obviously they're picking up brochures. Um, and we've seen that change, you know, post September 11th, uh, probably, you know, right up to the beginning of COVID. But when you're the only travel agency really in the area and you have such a dynamic area of travelers, it's kind of become a social area again. So, you know, we, it's great to see our offices full of clients coming in and asking questions, and meeting with our agents. Um, we have agents, you know, we, we did the furlough when everything happened. So most of our agents were working from home. But when we got everybody back into office and clients were coming back in, it really becomes that center, um, just kind of the focal point. So we have, you know, people that are doing fundraisers. We're in downtown Kenosha and downtown Kenosha is a really great area with a lot of arts and entertainment and restaurants and bars and some really great, it's a great town. We've gotten some bad press in the last year, but it truly is a great town and we're part of that. So people are coming in. Um, just to say hi. People are coming in. To, oh, for, you know, I heard, you know, you su- you supported, you sponsored uh, the stage at one of the summer events, or you donated to my sister's fundraiser. So we, you know, we use this as our base, and it really kind of um, for ninety years, it really, people really kind of enjoy coming in and talking to us. Yeah, exactly. And I have to say that there's a there's still a brick and mortar location in my neighborhood here in New York, and the they are constantly I see people streaming in, in and out there all the time. It is what you described. It does seem like a town square almost. Yes. Um, especially with relationships with people you've built over the years too. They love to come in and say hello, especially after we've had the absence of that for so long. Oh yeah, it is. It's great to see people. You know, people at the desks. It really is. Yeah. Um.